Hey, so let's talk a minute about how to properly do these uh, problems. Oftentimes students get confused, whether it's on a quiz or on a lesson, how do I work these problems? And the question is asking you to uh, place the accent mark above the vowel of the accented syllable of the word. So in this particular case, it's delight. You will not, there's no particular hard and fast rules for doing this. You're going to have to use <clears throat> a dictionary. I recommend you use miriam-webster.com. It's as simple as going to that, miriam-webster.com, and typing in the word. In this, in this case, the word is delight. So we're going to type it in and look it up in the dictionary. It's going to bring us up the dictionary for the word. Now, two things that are useful here. One is that it actually breaks it apart into syllables for you. The light. Then it gives you what is called a pronunciation guide. It also tells you how to pronounce it. It'll, it'll, you know, you can hit, click the button and hear it pronounced. But in this particular case, we want to notice the pronunciation guide. Uh, we want to notice where the accent mark is. Oops, sorry. Uh, so notice there's two syllables here. D light. And this is the accent mark. The accent mark is connected to the second syllable not the first syllable, right? So, D, delight. The accent should come on the second syllable. Now, over here, we know that if it's going to be on the second syllable, we need to put it above the vowel of the accented word. And so, therefore, in this case, we would put the accent mark right there, up above the I in delight, because it comes over this second syllable, right? You got two syllables and it would be over I in delight. One of the things that uh, have, has been brought out particularly in this unit uh, that we're dealing with here is the fact that one syllable is pronounced, uh, one vowel is pronounced per syllable. So you put it over the vowel that is pronounced. So that's where it should go in this particular case. Um, let's take another look. Let's do one other, right? Uh, so if we come here, here's the word silent. Again, we come back. Uh, to here and you get to see pictures of smart cats. Uh, but let's look at silent, type in the word, it brings it up for us. Again, it breaks it into syllables for us and it shows us that the first accent is, the first syllable receives the accent mark or the emphasis here. So we would come back and our syllable therefore would be on the first syllable, uh, our, not our, syllable, our accent mark would come on the first syllable, not the second syllable. So therefore we put it over the vowel, I and silent. That's pretty much procedure that you would need to follow. Let's look at one more together. Attendance. This is a multiple syllable word. So again, we come back here and we type in attendance. Uh, oh, spell it right. Attendance. Right. Here we go. <clears throat> attendance. And we see that there are three syllables. Attendance. And the second syllable receives the accent mark, 10. So therefore, we would look at attendance and our syllable marking would go over the second syllable and the vowel in the second syllable. So we'd put it over this E. And that is how you can properly find, you have to use the dictionary. There is no way to do it, again, unless you're using the dictionary, recommending miriam-webster.com as the best way to do this. Hey, I hope that helps. God bless.